Hey everyone, it's Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering and Kissoft Tech Support. I have a I had a question today about how can I turn a regular gear form into a spline and then create a, a hub to go over that. Uh, in this case, let's say that we have a planetary gear set, and in that planetary, the sun is going to drive. Um, but what I really need to do is I, I want to not get into different cutters and, th and those sorts of things. So what, I, what I'm going to try and do is I want to try and extend the spline from the sun gear. And that spline is going to pile it into a, a, into a hub, a splined hub, but that spline is going to be exactly the same as my shaft, okay, or my, my, uh, my sun gear here. So this blue gear. It's a really simple process. I'm going to go to calculation. I'm going to make sure my tooth form is on. All right. And if I go to my tooth form, um, actually, I don't need my tooth form on here, as a matter of fact. All I need to really do here is really simple. I just go to graphics, 2D geometry. I go to my tooth form for the sun gear. OK. I turn on my properties tab. I'm going to change the section from transverse to transverse half tooth on the right. And then I'm going to save this as a DXF. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it uh, half tooth form right. Okay. So I save that. And then uh, I'm going to quick look at my profile. I can see it's a standard profile. It's a 1.25.38 by 1. Okay. And what I'll do then is I'm, I'm going to open up my uh, other kit soft here and I'm going to open it up into the spline program so we'll write uh, spline geometry and strength okay double click that here I'm in my spline now if I look at my previous design here on my basic data it's a 0.3 modules 20 degree pressure angle okay um, I've got a face width I've got the sun's got 14 teeth Okay, this is pretty inf good information. And then this reference profile here is good information too. Like I needed to know what that is. If I go back into my spline, I'm going to change this from, and everything was metric there. So I'm going to change this from uh, DIN 5480. And I'm going to go to own input, ANSI. I'm going to call it a flat root, I guess, um, B92.2M. M is for metric, own input. Now you can see this changes. I know for sure it's a 0 0.3 module. It's a 20 degree pressure angle. I can change this to 20 degrees. It's a spur gear. I don't know what that big outside diameter of that might be. I don't know, we'll just call it 20 millimeters for now. And it's 14 teeth. I know for a fact, when I looked at it, it said six millimeters in the face width, right here, six. So I come back. I'm going to put 6.0 right there. I'm going to change this over to a Q7 because splines don't ever get really better than that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the material in this case, but I do want to now do a couple things. I'm going to go to the reference profile. I'm going to change this to own input. It's going to be 1.25, 0.38, and 1. And a simple quick over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do an adopt tool. So if I hit this double arrow, I can bring that right in. Okay. Now when I run this, I'm probably going to get a bunch of errors. So uh, I'm going to do a donor board. Let's see if it actually calculates. Oh, the width. Oh, I got to change that. Okay. So if I go to my basic data, I'm going to make this six. I missed that. Now let's, let's run it again. Okay, we had those warnings. Can I get a graphics? All right, there's my graphic. It doesn't look anything like, it kind of does, but doesn't really. I'd have to go in here and try and figure out this radius. Um, clearly that doesn't work. It doesn't look like what we had in our tooth form. No worries. I'm gonna simply go to calculation. I'm gonna turn this tooth form on. And under the shaft, I'm gonna double click here. Under the shaft, I'm going to hit Add Operation, Import Cylindrical Gear Data. Now I'm going to go to that file where I saved it, which is in my documents, way down here, Videos. And here's my half-tooth height form. 
Okay, where I saved it. That was from my Sun Gear. Now I'm going to open it. I'm not going to change the origin. It's still going to be a zero. It gives me a reference already of 0.3. And if I do my preview, I can see that I have my tooth form right here. Okay, I close this. This automatic is on still. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to deactivate it. And now for my shaft, I have this import cylindrical gear data. And that's this data right here, the blue, the blue data. Now when I run it, okay, I get some warnings here. It's not telling me it's failing. Oh, look at that. Now I have my tooth form, the blue line, which is exactly what I want, which is from my, my uh, sun gear. And I can see that this ring gear or internal spline is what I guess we're calling it here. I need to make this adjustment because it's down here on the bottom and there's no radius or anything to it. So I just simply go to the reference profile. I'm going to change this factors over to diameter. Okay, and I'm going to change this from 3.6 to 3.9. Now watch this green line that bumps up right into here. I don't know exactly how deep you might want this, but that, that bumped up close to the uh, to the form diameter here, or the root form diameter. Uh, I might turn on the calculation for modifications and I might say, yes, I'm gonna chamfer that because sometimes we chamfer those because of it. I'm gonna put 0 0.03 on it, run it. And now you can see if I turn that final machine off, you can see there's a small chamfer there, right? And now I have, uh, it's not quite line to line, but <clears throat> it's a, um, it's a form fit at least. And I have the true form of the gear that I'm using. So now I've basically uh, created my internal external spline use an import gear uh, data, okay? It's really simple. It takes a couple minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. And then you can see that. So if I don't want to see that red line, let's say I don't want to see that. I turn this base circle off, and now you can see that. And probably my diameter is not 20. Maybe it's 10. I run that again. It's probably not even, oh, it might be 10. Probably not even that. Probably like 8. Oh, so now you've got something like this, um, but you've got your gear data and you've got your spline data. And you can bring this down as far as you want, um, but just remember that at some point you're going to be cutting into this side here. And again, if you wanted to change with the tolerances, you just go to the tolerance tab and then you can play with this tolerance hub thickness right here. Um, you probably could do with the shaft thickness. Um, You'd have to enter that from your from your other uh, calculation. So really simple and not too difficult. This is a, a really quick way to convert a gear into a spline calculation. I don't know what this thing can hold. Let's put three meters on it once. Do I get a calculation here? Sure I do. Or what did that say? Oh, only geometry. Uh, let's do Neiman Warner. Just run it. Okay, so there's my pressure stress, my safety. You can do AGMA. Let's go look at AGMA quick. Maybe this thing is running at 1200 RPM. I don't know. It's a line. There. Now we've got all of our safeties right there. So that's how you would do it. <clears throat> Pretty simple. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at ty.warner at kissoft.ag, and um, you know we'll help you out. If you're wondering about buying modules, you, same email. Go ahead, email me, and uh, we can get you set up with a quote in that respect. Thanks for watching.